Hey guys, I thought I'd give you another update on the progress so far on my office craft room. Well, the floors are in and I am so in love with them. They're just beautiful. I just still can't get over that they're vinyl planks. They just look more beautiful than I imagine they would looking from the sample. You know, they're, they're gray. Um, this is the Vestura Century Oak from uh, five millimeter from um, Build Direct. And the sample, I wasn't quite sure. I saw the hints of warmth in the sample. Um, and they are gray, but it's probably really hard to tell in this video, but there is some warmth to it. And that warmth is the color you can't really see it yet because that's just the the primer, but um, this is a but we do have it tinted to the wall color, so you'll be able to see more once it all comes together. That that little hint of warmth will be pulled out in the paint color from the floors. So makes me feel really good that um, I have just the right colors for the walls and the cabinets. You can see here that we are starting to set the cabinets. It's going to have a, a countertop all the way around from here to here. We made a slight change. Oh yeah, I can load that one up, can't I? Um, originally we were going to kind of come all the way around and tie it into this piece, but we have decided to stop right there with the counter top so I can utilize that space underneath um, for some of my larger sketchbooks and samples, large samples and that sort of thing, a trash can and whatever else I can hide under there. So we'll just keep this separate even though it's going to be painted the same color as the cabinets. We're going to take the trim piece off the top of that desk and go up to the top I think somehow to tie it all in together. I got to think about that but that's the plan so far so we left this opening here because I'll have stools underneath the counter so this will be another working desk well it, it'll be my daughter's area for her to craft so we wanted a lot of room underneath there might be a way that I could maybe do something on the side there for some storage I'm not real sure I gotta think about that too then this will be all shelving all the way up to the top and I'll load that up. So I am really excited because I'm getting all this space and all that. All these will have drawers as well, so that'll be great. And um, for the floors, these floors, I just cannot believe how easy they are. They are interlocking planks. Let me show you a picture here. This is what it looks like. And if you can see the side, can you see that? It's like a puzzle. It's just interlocking. These are floating floors. And you can see the thickness here for vinyl. That's pretty thick, five millimeters. And let's see if I can do this with my hand. Basically, you just line it up. You alternate for your seam lines and you just attach it. And with a rubber mallet, you just sort of hammer it in right there and it locks in. You can see the underlayment here. This adds, we laid this before we laid the floors and that is, um, that acts as a moisture barrier and um, it's also an insulator and it uh, also is um, an acoustic barrier which is awesome. So I'm hoping that this will help me keep the cool air in and the hot air in in the winter so because this room is over my garage and this is an issue so fingers crossed I feel pretty confident from everything I've read about um, that's made by a company called floor mat and it's an underlayment and um, it's also available from build direct and um, I can't wait to uh, to get a to see if that really does what I think it's gonna do and from everything that I read um, so everything's primed, 
We're ready to go. We were just waiting on the floors. The floors are in. Now we're ready to paint and get these cabinets and the bookshelves built. That'll happen this week. I'm going to start working on my gorgeous window treatments and then I can get the table up here, get my big sectional from Ikea in, get the shelving built over here and we will be good to go. Oh, and the plank ceiling was painted. Let me see if I can get back so you can see it. It turned out so pretty. And um, I kept it kind of rustic. We didn't cover up all the knots because I kind of wanted it to have a cottage beach ceiling sort of rustic kind of look. Even though I'm not really going rustic in this space, this is really the only two rustic elements. Everything else will be pretty modern. So I kind of wanted to balance the two. So that's the update so far. It's coming together. I'm getting so excited. Thanks for hanging out with me today.